And, um, I just want to give a very simple, short introduction to the frequency spectrum analyzer. So here's a sine wave, and we know it has an amplitude and a frequency. It is the simplest waveform to discuss its frequency because it is a particular frequency. In this case, we have 5.5 kilohertz selected. I think I would feel better just having a nice uh, round number of uh, 1 kilohertz. So I'm going to uh, change it to 1 kilohertz. There's 1 kilohertz. I change the horizontal, and, I, and, and there is a representation of one, a 1 kilohertz sine wave. I can display it crunched together or spread apart just by choosing the speed at which uh, the trace is happening, which it really isn't happening, but it, the way it's displayed. So uh, channel 1 is going into channel 1. Now, if I look at the frequency spectrum, of a sine wave, its frequency spectrum will show me all of the different frequencies that make up the sine wave, but it is a sine wave, it's a pure frequency, so there will be only one frequency. Now, frequency spectrum analyzer is a very powerful tool for looking at frequency spectra, which is an extremely important parameter of waves. So I'm going to press the spectrum button, and it has... Um, moved the, the oscilloscope up here and the frequency spectrum below it. So I choose channel 1 and I change the uh, horizontal so that I can display the, uh, the sine wave and there it is and then I choose and, and uh, you should be aware of these buttons here. If I press that then it opens up the frequency spectrum analyzer uh, menus. So if I press that, now the menu is for the channel 1, the time base, the time domain, and then I press the spectrum analyzer and those are the frequency spectrum controls. Now whenever you turn on the frequency spectrum analyzer, it assumes you want the maximum bandwidth and particular center frequency. That's almost never going to be the case for us. So the first thing you want to do is change the frequency span from a gigahertz, which is really big. You hold it down, and this comes up. We're, we're, we want to show a one kilohertz sine wave, so I don't need to look out to a, 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 a thousand megahertz or a million kilohertz. Let's just make the, the bandwidth, say, uh, five kilohertz. So that's the bandwidth. And now we're going to change the frequency spectrum by holding that, uh, the f center frequency, to, say, two kilohertz. Now the center is 2 kilohertz and the width is 5 kilohertz. And here's our peak. It shows up now because it's on here. This peak is showing up at 1 kilohertz. Now I can choose if I want to average it, which makes it a little bit cleaner, but it's taking the average of 10 traces. I could change that to say 3 traces and it's a little noisier, but it's still cleaner than it was, and uh, so we see our 1 kilohertz peak. If I change uh, the 1 kilohertz frequency to 2 kilohertz, it has to average. If we don't like to wait, we'll just put it on normal. It's at 2 kilohertz. Oh, I'm making a mistake here. I've I should have it on frequency 500 hertz. And now I've changed it to 700 hertz. Let's go up to 1.1 kilohertz. Now we're moving it to 1.4 kilohertz. Here's 2 kilohertz. So you can see wherever the frequency of the sine wave is, it's moving to a higher frequency. And um, we can change this from amplitude to frequency. Let's find the frequency right here. Frequency. And now it's telling me the frequency is 2 kilohertz. If I change it to, say, 2.5 kilohertz, there it is. Um, all right. Let's see. Okay, so that's basically the frequency spectrum analyzer. Let me go back to the spectrum analyzer. Remember, the key things are that you must choose the correct center frequency and frequency span to get the image. You can do some averaging if you want, and you can put the output in what's called uh, decibels or just volts. It's a little hard to see, but there's the peak in volts. 
and here's the peak in decibels. Decibels make small things look larger so you can see small features in there. Just very quickly, I'm going to change it to a square wave. And in changing it to a square wave, I will decrease the frequency. And you can see that there are other peaks that show up, and that's the subject of lab four, is what are these other peaks? Those are called harmonics. So that's it for this video, and this is the last video. Thank you.